Oh yeah, this. This doesn't look good. Ah yes, I guess it's totally bad. Just in case you forgot. Also, the pilot is called McLeod. <laughs> I just saw that. Urgent call from HQ. Transmission source has been identified. That looks like a dodgiest fucking. Uh. See that high rise up ahead? It was abandoned in the middle of construction. Oh, all of these graphics tell, look the unfinished. Originated from that location. Then it was uploaded and distributed. Look at the lighting. Systems all around the look world. at the polygonal things. It just looks unfinished. This looks like like alpha testing. These places. Maybe. So who are these people? Whoever they are, they have access to some serious money. The UN has scheduled a crisis conference for today. They'll probably order the mobilization of emergency forces. It took them a long time to react to like London getting attacked. Like UN. I also love this sincere attempt to make a female character that isn't just fucking ridiculous, but they still can't rein it in enough. So she's closer to like an acceptable human being, but they still felt the need to staple jiggle physics to every part of her. What is it? What is that? It's obviously not your dragon sword now, is it? It's like a giant pair of shears. Oh, <laughs> I thought it was like secateurs. Good luck. Remember, I'll be watching your back. See? Just staple the jiggle physics directly onto her leather jacket where her boobs would be. Because, you know, leather jackets are made out of gelatin too. I'm glad that guy got fucking fired, Jesus Christ. It's just so overt. How did no one know? <laughs> he made whole games about objectifying women. How did no one know? They all knew. Oh, okay. This feels like the stupidest idea these guys could have had. What will we do, sir? You will drive erratically around him, firing rocket launches and crashing into each other, apparently. Won't that endanger and increase the likelihood of us hitting each other? Ah, who cares? Also, we have hover skidoos. Also, the rubble looks like shit. <laughs> like, what now? It's been a while, Master Dean. Oh, they covered you up finally. They asked me to come. Ah, you gave me a new sword. Jinra, Otto. Word gets around fast. <laughs> Make sure you bring it back in one piece. It's just a loner. Loner. Okay. I won't. Should have someone in the village take a look at that arm. I will. I won't. <laughs> something I need to finish first. Take care. They still couldn't resist, could they? I'm glad she has sandstorm powers now. That really feels like nothing to do with her actual move set. Top secret. Ninja have their way. Oh, I'm glad that was hand waved. How did she know to teleport to your location through sandstorm <laughs> in the middle of the fucking desert to give you a sword? Ah, oh, you know. That doesn't answer my question, Ryu. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, yeah, sure. I'm not gonna get the ninpo that heals me because I'm on baby mode and it heals me anyway while doing something else, so... <laughs> Seems relatively pointless. 
No, I did. Yeah, I'm just checking the things. Yeah, to do this, I have to. Okay, that. Do I have to forward jump? Maybe it's because I'm in a weird space. Look at this untextured sand. Holy shit. Oh, hello. I feel like there's been so many Japanese character action games where man with curved blades and red berry has jumped out at me in sand area. I feel like that's just like this weird trope. But I don't even know where it comes from. Maybe I I don't know. Well, they're dead now, so it doesn't matter. Now, there was a whole boss in um, Devil's Third, right? Which was also a terrible Itagaki game. <laughs> oh no, he just loves guys with curvy daggers living in the desert with berries on. He's got two fetishes, and one of them got him fired. The other one is just really fucking weird. <laughs> it's time to do that. Now I have two tendril powers. Actually, more accurately, now I have prototype tendril powers. That's what diseases of the arm give you. Hey guys, let's all go get Gao. I heard it gives me cool ninja powers. Man spams rocket launcher. <laughs> but he's no match for singular arrow. Most flaccid falling down. The Criterion's Black had better animation for I'm dying and going to fall off the platform. And that's a PS2 game. <laughs> Why are you red, sir? Oh, you gave me new Ninpo. That is a helpful bird. Magic bird. Oh, hello. I was busy doing flips when I heard voices. Can't shoot the rocket launch, you've got no head. Hmm? No head? I'm clipping you through the sand with me. These guys are actually easier to fight than Mission 1. I'm glad in the middle of the desert I'm still being attacked by Cockneys, where he's like, DOI! <laughs> Oi, mate, you gonna DOI! In it, bruv. Hey, I'm allowed to say it. Everyone else is appropriating my culture. Oh, hello. I'm glad I could have predicted that. That doesn't feel cheap at all. But now he's a stump. Oh, hello. Oh, it wouldn't be the Middle East if there wasn't just a random rug draped in the middle of the sand for no reason. Had that missed. Oh, hello. You jumped out of nowhere? Oh, though, that sand is. Oh, it's just so untextured I couldn't tell. Oh, oh, no, please let me do that. Oh, no, you're making me do this. Hello. <laughs> knock down. I actually just. Oh, I see. Now I. I think the knockdown was what killed him there, Ryu. I think it's the stab through the sternum. Kind of a misleading QTE. Yeah. 
You know, the great thing about the Middle East is it's untextured sand and their propensity to build everything into giant walled off death arenas with handy scaffolding. <laughs> yes, because we play Ninja Gaiden 3 for its uh, accuracy to anything <laughs> and its sensitivity to anything. <laughs> Why has everyone got a British accent? Oh, I guess they're all working for the British overlord and he's a, like... Biased employer? <laughs> ah, yes. The boss is British, therefore we cannot hire a single American or Australian or any other group of people. That makes sense. You know... Oh, my scarf's on my face. You know, I feel like the rocket launchers are supposed to be more threatening, but the fact that, like, they always miss... Because they always shoot where you were, like, a while ago. I think that maybe hit me, to be fair, though. We get it, you have unlimited ammo. Oh, it worked then. I can do the jumpy thing now. I'm glad this sleigh bell is always ringing to remind me that my lust for blood is, like, here. Nothing gets me bloodthirsty more than the sound of sleigh bells. What happens when you work at Starbucks and they start playing Christmas songs in October. <laughs> the bloodlust. <laughs> well, it worked, so can't miss if you're right next to it. Who is yelling shit every combo? Every time I do a combo, someone's going shit. <laughs> is that just a weird bark that's unfortunate sounding, or is that what the enemies are saying? Oh, he was too far away. Auto guarding for days. I can hear the eagles or the falcons or whatever. Burb. Here you are, Burb. The pluckiest of ducks. What do you want from me? Oh. That, that could have been clearer, but like... Oh. <laughs> that could have been clearer too. Oh well. Well, he's gone now. Oh no. Scaffolding was loose. I think he's dead for you. See what I mean? They're so British. Alright, mate. There's a ninja. Why is there a ninja in Afghanistan? 
Why are we in Afghanistan? <laughs> Just waiting for him to be around. You know, when you just... Oh. It's the guy from Infamous. I take that back. It's the Assassin's Creed dubstep warlock. Who has possibly the weirdest fucking power I've seen in a game like this. What is that? You can just create crunchy clusters or some shit. Like, this looks unfinished. This looks like test footage. Like they went, oh, that's good enough. That looks cool. And it's like, it doesn't. It looks like they're throwing pieces of the Tekken training stage at me. What? Why? Why can you just magically... They can just magically create a permanent shield that appears behind them but blocks in front of them. Look at that. I broke it now, so... I think there's like a method to this that I just ironically wasn't tutorialized about. Like they tutorialize you saying the same thing over and over, like this is attack, this is block, and then it tells you that six or seven times and you're like, we get it, and then it's like, here's an enemy, and you're like, why can he always create a like magic shield? Do I need to charge my attacks against him? So I'm really just hitting him until he stops. That was a lot of order guard. Who were those guys? They seem different than the others. How observant. Uh, nothing here but horribly rendered nothingness. Oh, uh, yes. There's nothing gonna be here, is there? Let's just move onwards. A burb. Oh, nothing for me. Just saves. Okay, you auto-corrected me there, that's kind of jank. I was trying to go left-right. Oh no, not the infected helicopter. No, it plagues all bad sequels. Sure. Sure. <laughs> okay, can I go now? Now? The explosion animations are clipping through the geometry wanted to you okay, in case you didn't see that I'm in the dome where should I go I lost your coordinates in the last explosion <laughs> where should I go don't worry Ryu it's uh, completely linear you will have no choice on where to go Posters? Are they Muramasa posters? Has he been reduced to set dressing? That's really depressing. I'm already tired of this combat, it's become very repetitive. Maybe because I only have two weapons and two ninpo, and it's just a bit like, oh, oh, okay, <laughs> you know, like, uh, maybe I will get another weapon later. Maybe I do have to be looking for them.
But I don't mind the Falcon Talons in 2. don't really feel like I like the way that they work here though. I feel like this sword is subtly different on how it handles to the, how the Dragon Blade handles, so... Like a longer sword, it seems to be doing different animations. I don't know. I'm no swordman. I just played the game and I hit the, the triangle triangle and the square square. Had it coming. I'm glad Auto Guard is playing this game for me, because I sure as shit am not. Oh, yay, more shield guys! guys first. Now we have to deal with these annoying guys. Worth. <laughs> Why is it with so many Japanese video games the soldiers have Tiny, tiny neon cyberpunk daggers. I've seen that in so many things. I'm pretty sure I saw it in Streets of Rage as one of the earliest examples of that comes to my mind. Maybe I'm misremembering there. just give you buffs. I guess. guess that's fine. I'm getting murdered though. This guy in particular sound like Dingo Dial. <laughs> but not an Australian, he sounds like Dingo Dial. Not like an actual Australian, he sounds like Dingo Dial in terms of ludicrously over Australian Australian. He's like You know I said infected chopper? <laughs> It's the infected chopper fight. I can't believe it. What do some video game developers have against helicopters in the helicopter industry? I mean, even Resident Evil loves blowing up helicopters. Yeah, that taught him. slide under that pillow. It really made me feel immersed in the game. I love how that is also literally the exact same combo I used to use in 2. <laughs> and uh, like the obliteration technique is exactly the same as well. I mean, it works. I like it. So, like to into it's fine.
Yeah, I just kind of give up fighting these guys after a while because I realized like A, the helicopter is shooting his own people and B, they just keep coming back so I'm just going to make the helicopter go away. I'm being shot. some space. Sometimes though the the, uh, the bow just kind of auto targets the guy so then I'm like okay yeah, I'll just get him. Flaming man. Oh, hello. This is a giant monorail. Holy shit. Like, the inside of this monorail is the largest I've ever seen. Kind of reminds me of the Vanquish monorail section, except that was good. This one. Look at the door to the monorail. This is just weirdly oversized. Like it's designed for seven foot tall people. Or eight foot tall people. Oh, I'm being shot. Oh, that's just really annoying. You know, if you're asking me to shoot these guys, maybe don't give them a gun that takes me out of aiming mode and means that I get stun locked, but don't really get a lot of damage from it, because then that's just annoying. It's not even like frustrating, it's just annoying, <laughs> you know, because it's not doing enough damage to be a problem, it's just, uh, ow. 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 <laughs> like... Monorail. Wait, was I supposed to be able to stop that, or...? Does this have branching paths? got to the point where their British accent is so overdone that I'm mistaking it for an Australian accent. Like these guys don't know what they were going for and were just going for British Australian ish like goon guy who's like right yeah <laughs> it's just that after a while it just fuses into like multiple accents. Go on for a bit more. Okay. Yeah, 
There are a lot of people in this room, <laughs> holy shit. You know when you pan around you're like, oh. <laughs> Stab a bunch of you. Oh, now they're all mad. You stole my arm. I now have to do my OP attack. There's something about the majority of video game British accents. Oh, I thought we were talking to that torso over there for a second. I thought it was like, hey, psst. Video game British, especially Britishmen, according to the Japanese, is such a weird accent I have never heard an actual English person ever speak like. You know, my whole life of living in England, there's this very specific, like, that is not how we speak. Why is this considered how we speak? It's kind of like to the point that if you did this and say it was about a different demographic or something like that, you know, a nationality that's known, like, say, an Indian thing, it would be considered racist. <laughs> it's at that level of like, this is just like, not what we sound like. It's not even the it's Tuesday in it thing, it's like, I don't even know what it is. But it's become such a trope of what we apparently sound like to Americans and Japanese. Or just Japanese have their own weird take and Americans have their own weird take. But it's at that point of like, if you did a similar accent for what you believe Indian or Chinese people sounded like, it would be like you would be banned from making shit levels of like, oh my god, that's not even accurate. <laughs> like, it's just slurring weirdness. Oh yeah, let's just clip through that staircase and sink into this tiled floor. Oh, really? He didn't even have time to make sure he was stood on the floor properly. Hayabusa, Fuck me. Are you okay, Hayabusa? What's going on? Well, I have some glowing tumorous shit on my arm. It's made my ha arm heavy. Like, I'm not even offended by people mocking the British accent because it's just such a regularity occurrence at this point. If it offended me, I would be permanently offended and unable to interact with media. But it's just like, oh. 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 <laughs> Glad he popped up right after I started my jump. Thanks. That could have been told earlier. And why are the grunts giving me life advice? Like, by the way, don't fall down, mate. Like, you're supposed to be killing me. Also, yes, man who has jumped from Empire State Building and flown down will die from fall damage if falling off of a building with lots of grapple points. Mm. 
don't think about it too much. That's been in all the games, to be fair. Oh, half of him fell off the building. Only half. Why has that guy just got two? Oh, he's got a stick and a gun, and he's just kind of slapping me. He's got a stick and a gun. He approaches me and goes, I know, I'll kick him. <laughs> I don't think I can fall off here, so I'm not too worried about getting too close to the edge, but... Take this! Oh, helicopter isn't weak to wind. But it is weak to arrow. Again, just switch off your body. It's fine. <laughs> Just get this bit over with. <laughs> I need to get past this infected helicopter thing. It's literally like I re have to resort to using ranged weapons. I'm on the top of a building. I'm jumping rooftop to rooftop. It's literally the infected helicopter thing again. That's why I climbed up. Ah, good. You still live, Ryu Hayabusa. Quite a fast response today, <laughs> by Japanese government standards, anyway. Oh, burn. For you, we're all done here. Who are you? Ah, an alchemist, born again in the here and now. You sound like C. Three PO. Magnificent, isn't it? A skyscraper abandoned in the middle of construction. Like the Tower of Babel, built so high they incurred the wrath of God. What Get the feeling this guy's like a huge fundy. Yeah, me too. You Separation of church and state. After <laughs> all, well, I guess he hates states as well, so <laughs> actually that works out for both of us. <laughs> and speaking of decay, how's your arm? It's an old Slavic curse, you know. The grip of murder, they call it. The grip of murder. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you could just spawn diseases in your hand. The words of the curse resonated with the blade of your dragon sword, broke down its structure, then melted into your arm. This sounds like Hollywood bullshit. It was a simple spell to weave. Malice and hate. Think. Think! How many lives has that hand taken? Hundreds? But Thousands? the sword is an inanimate object. Why would it be filled with malice? So you're telling me if I just use multiple weapons like I do in every game, it would make it less effective? You're just describing gangrene. Okay, like they're kind of starting to talk over themselves a little bit there. Sometimes when they're doing their monologues, they start to talk over their own vocal lines a little bit. Dreams lie rotting. What could be more fitting than a mirage? Yes, of course I'm an illusion, as is all existence. Oh my god. He thinks we're living in a simulation. Well, I guess he is, because it's a video game. <laughs> Gonna fight another Shagro Hot reject. Oh. Okay. So, infected helicopter number two. <sighs> it 
has a real gun. Yeah, but like I'm not choosing to hit the cockpit, it's just auto-targeting really hard to that, so stop shouting at me. Oh no! <laughs> You know what I love about a character action game where you fight a boss where you can only use ranged weapons for the whole fight? That's definitely not something that most people universally dislike. Oh. <laughs> it gave me way too much time there. Oh, okay, let's go shoot this, I guess. Stabba stabba. Ow, oh, ow. Oh. I see. We'll just go through the blades, I guess. Uh, this is the fight, isn't it? This is the fight. At least it's only the second boss. Oh. Third or fourth boss, actually. We're getting through bosses quickly. Ow. Oh. That was a fast tackle. Yeah, I'm pretty certain nothing can kill me. Notice how I never get below this health point. It's so lame. Oh. Oh, yes. He loves jumping near those head rotating blades, doesn't he? It's kind of making me nervous. <laughs> oh. Do I climb up? Okay. I just stand in the gunfire, apparently you can't hurt me. I'm sure he's yelling shit. Why would he? That's so out of character for me either. It was taking so long to get hit that I thought it wanted me to kill the grunts first, and that I had to kill them. Apparently it didn't. Oh. Yeah, I'm not taking any damage. This, this playthrough has no stakes! I'm never gonna die, except in failed QTEs. I don't even know if I'm doing damage to- oh, there we go. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> it doesn't feel like I'm doing anything. Oh, there we go. Oh. Oh. Do you want me to climb up? No? Okay. Every other time you've wanted me to climb up, okay? Well, at least you restart me here. That could have been less clear, but okay. I guess it did tell me to hang on, but it told me to hang on last time. And I had to climb up, so I'll just... I'll just stay here. No game, you told me I had to stay here. I'm just gonna hold on. <laughs> Until the prompt goes away. There we go. It's okay to fall from this height. <laughs> None of the other heights I fell from, which were similar heights. <laughs> oh, Hayabusa. Glad you're just wandering around. It 
has an exploding tip that'll blow up anything it hits. Tell me something. Sure. Are you using me to field test all your prototypes? N no. It's just that I thought, well, there's this guy in our lab who's a bit mad and he... A bit mad? You don't mean me, do you? <laughs> like you, this world would be in even more trouble than it already is. Kana, what are you doing here? You were supposed to be looking after her. What the hell? Ishigami told me to come. He didn't order you to bring. <laughs> that accent is a bit sus. Just add some modulation to it. That's all I'm saying. I'm probably like really off base with this. Besides, with this maniac on the loose, no place is safe. She's better off with us. What's done is done. <laughs> here now. You fucked up. She's a hideously she rendered child. I guess a few introductions are in order. Hayabusa, this is my daughter, Kana. It's alright, Kana. You don't have to be afraid of him. <laughs> kind of scary, but he's a good man. I'm not scary. Hello, Kana. My name is Ryu. That means dragon. <laughs> oh, don't, don't reach. Don't shake her hand with your horrible, gangrenous arm. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's okay. I'm sorry for scaring her. You really could have just led with your, like, left hand. Yes, you could introduce me. Oh, right. Hayabusa, this is Clifford Higgins, a scientist with the <laughs> Self Defense Forces Special Research Unit. Clifford Higgins, really? What else is there? <laughs> Such love for her dearest brother-in-law. Anyway, hello. Call me Cliff. Your legend precedes you, you know. Nothing but stories. <laughs> perhaps, perhaps not. In any case, it's a pleasure to meet you, Hayabusa. So, oh, savage! Will shake the hand of child. Will not shake the hand of man helping me. You actually know them better by their global conglomerate front, L O A. Oh fuck off! I'm sorry. What? So the terrorist organization just broadly goes out and becomes a conglomerate with just the abbreviation of their terrorist name. Fuck you.